Well, they, they had their ups and downs like anybody else, but the family, the way I, the way I said, the family has to be very part of the, the healing process and the treatment process if somebody has a mental illness as the person who has that mental illness. It has to be a holistic uh, attitude or approach, approach. Having a loved one suffering mental illness is probably one of the most difficult things any family can go through. It is not a person disease. It is a family disease because one person is identified as the patient and everybody suffers. This is a twofold for me coming here today because of myself dealing with mental health. I also have a 16 year old daughter who's diagnosed with depression as well. Mm -hmm. um, so it's twofold. Mm -hmm. So it was nice today to kind of see both aspects of it. And when I was contacted, that was one of the things that I definitely wanted to see is how myself as a sole provider for my daughter could deal with it a little bit better as well as how other people around me deal with their mental health issues day in and day out. My family's experience from having children that were loved and accepted and they have a lot of positive feedback was must have been spectacular to an extent but mm -hmm. when things happen and things go wrong and now you have a completely flip side of the story mm -hmm. I think my parents um, really struggled with that I think they really struggled with me being who I was mm -hmm. and now they have to deal with who they are but where we are today I believe that we are a lot stronger I have our relationship is um, is perfect. It's very, we have a great, great relationship because of what we've gone through together.